Hi, my name is Joel Young. I'm the CTO of Digi International, and I'm going to talk to you today about cellular technology. Now, one of the questions that I often get asked is, what's the future hold of cellular technology? What direction are we going, and why? What's going on? What is with all these Gs? Well, let's go back to the beginning. Before there was voice, after there was voice, we started sending data over our cellular connections, and 2G was born. 2G was some old technology called time division multiple access. Don't worry about what that means, but know that it wasn't fast enough. Fast for the time, but not fast enough. So what do we want? Back then, we wanted more speeds and feeds, and so 3G was born. Something called CDMA, or spread spectrum. Lot of, gave us a lot more bits over the line and a lot faster, less latency, still not enough. Why? Because we want videos on our smartphones. That's what seems to drive us all. And so 4G was born, or something we know as today as LTE. Still all about speeds and feeds. How do I get to watch all those fun videos on my smartphone? One thing happened though. Guess what? The Internet of Things is here. And with the Internet of Things, it's not only about your smartphone anymore. It's about all those other machines. And machines have different needs. Some machines want to just send sensor data. They want to dribble information out. Some machines do want bandwidth. Some machines want really fast latency because they want to turn something on or off. Other machines are happy just to sit back in their chairs and send the occasional transaction. What does that mean for us? That means that our cellular technology has to evolve. It's not just about watching YouTube videos anymore. It's about the world of machines. So, what's going on? Well, we see a fork in the road coming on in the world of LTE technology, 4G, and beyond into 5G. Still, we have all those speeds and feeds with LTE advanced. What does that mean? That means you're going to still get the bandwidth that you need. And it's not just for you smartphone users. That means it's for transit buses and big fancy signs and all of that. All those big data hungry applications that machines like to use. But on the other side, we have the world of the smaller Internet of Things. Sensors. Sensors don't care about a lot of bandwidth. And sensors like to control things. So what happens? That means we have a fork in the road. And our standards and cellular technology are splitting. So look around. It's not just about all that bandwidth anymore. The machines are coming, and they want low power, low latency, and just enough data to get the job done.